All right, so kind of a lazy day. Had kids over, a lot of kid stuff today, church. But I just did some basic programming. I'll go through it. This is that song, uh, Eight Feet Under. So I'll play through it, and it's basically Superior Drummer. And I've got it fully split out. You'll see, you know, kick coming here, there, there. Toms have other all their own tracks, so you'll see that. Let's see, we'll just play it through. So there's ways of like doing groove things. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. I didn't do it. This is this is this is quantized except for certain sections. I just played it and left it because I it felt I just like the way it, it felt. But the general general groove of this is quantized, and then you can go into. Um, like real time properties and you can put a swing on things. A lot of times I'll put the hi-hat on its own separate track, give the hi-hat a swing, the kick and snare will be straight. You can mess with it. I didn't with this. Um, and I'm, you know, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll just see. I like how it feels already. Um, it's gonna swing more with the guitars too, so we'll see. Um, and basically, I'll just go over some of this real quick, kind of coming in with this intro thing. Let me go to notes. I will get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so it's just like a kind of a kick with like a big. splash in on that so let's yeah, it 
kind of like that high pitch. Yeah, they're a little short, some of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And all the neighborhood kids here today, man. Whoa, it was a party. So, like, I can come here, and I can look at... Yeah, it's a little behind. I'll just leave that. Kind of felt cool. funny about this symbol it just kind of dies out see those let's switch it to this let's try that yeah and you know, and I and I, I can be I'll be tweaking this kind of as I go. I try usually not to print the drums right away. I just kind of want to play with it as as I start tracking. One thing that I do that they do do here, if you go to velocity, this is huge. And I mean, of all the things, well, here, check it out. When you're doing like eighths on the hi hat, you'll see. Uh, that's that's full velocity. That's the first hi hat. So it's one, and then and is lower, and then two is higher, and then and is lower. So it's like, God, and it gives it like a like a motion. I don't make it perfect. Um, I fix things if it's annoying me, but I kind of just I play it like that a little bit, and then I just dial it in and kind of just make it like as if you're listening to a drummer, right? So that hi hat, it's like. That's kind of overstating it, but you get. What I'll do now, just, and I'll undo this. If I come and get all these hi hats, I just make everything 10, right? Okay, now. It's a little like that, right? And this, the, the 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 brass or the hardware or whatever is where you really where the where, the, where programming is the trickiest. See that high, that that little, that's that little crash. It's kind of just in there, cause cause listen to the guitar. It, it's like, it's it sounds like it's like I don't know. It's spacey. It's hookah. It's like it feels like we're inside of a hey, genie's bottle or something. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be like kind of strange and distant, cause it's gonna get real like boom, bam. A little bit of that that weird I like a vision that weird uh Tom Petty song well, don't come around here no more a symbol in there but then now we're going from like a cracked hi hat into a closed hi -hat. let's see what that sounds like little little panty left you notice that so, so for me I, I just have to be careful of that kind of stuff because some I mean you know like there, there's that whole metal thing where, it's like, it's a, you know, the drums don't sound like that. When you stand in front of drums, you get a very minimal stereo image. Because if I go like this, you don't hear it out of that ear. You hear it in the room. So I, I'm not really the big, 
bloop, bloop, bloop kind of guy. So that was a little. See, that's a little wide left. Let me, uh, what is that? Let's see. Like that. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, see how far over it is? And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, audience perspective. Um,. All right, right. You know, I'm just going to leave it for now. We're not going to mess with this. And it's straighter. Um, I, I, I... I, when I did the more open hi hat, I wanted it like almost. I was. I don't know why I was like feeling like Doctor Feelgood, like pssst, pssst, like more like authority. And when I made it groovy, I didn't like it. Like I didn't want it to have like a swishiness. I wanted it to, you know, have that because that's that juxtaposition, right? So you're coming from real, like you know, real, you know, Peter Frank. Did what I, I did now what I heard, which really was more bottom, maybe. He 
you try, you know, I, I don't get super hung up on whether something is exactly the way a drummer would play it or a drummer could play it. Dude, nobody cares. Unless you're trying to make music for nerds, <laughs> musicians, then worry about it. I don't think anybody cares. You know, drum programming is like its own thing. <laughs> So there it is. So that's like a little basic drum track. Still, I think the tempos are good, but again, I can switch the tempos now. It doesn't make a difference, right? I can just as easy. So from the top, uh, eight feet under, dude, this thing's gonna crank when I start tracking guitars and bass. Uh, I think maybe I'll put a little synth on it. It's gonna be cool, man. I think it's gonna be good. And again, this is all coming out separate tracks. It's all bust out through Superior. So enjoy. I guess the next thing will be going through the guitars and bass and it's coming together man we'll take this all the way to the end we'll do a mix video we'll do the whole deal so i hope you guys enjoyed it peace